What's up, my surgical tech family? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to talk about clinical rotations. First things first, I want to talk about the way you conduct yourself at the clinical site. Remember, all eyes is on you. You may not think that they're watching, but the staff is watching. Also remember, this may be the first place that you land your first job. You want to get there on time, apply excellent work ethic, do your job, and leave. Secondly, you want to find yourself an experienced surgical technologist to be a preceptor, one who doesn't mind teaching or who, who loves teaching. Um, you want to uh, scrub with that tech for, you know, a few cases, get comfortable with them and, you know, build a nice rapport, a nice relationship with that tech. When you get into the room with the tech, don't just stand around and just look. You want to show the initiative that you're here to learn. You want to learn, you want to get in, you want to scrub in. Um, by that, you know, I mean, you know, in the beginning of the case, instead of just standing around waiting for the tech to come in, you should ask the nurse if it's okay if you can start setting up in the meantime. Um, ask the nurse if there's anything else that you can do to help. When the case is over, you can help break down the case. And also, you can help turn the room over. When you get into the room for your cases, you want to make sure you're going in there um, assertively. If you're not sure about yourself, I don't think anybody else in the room is going to be sure about you. It starts with you, okay? You want to go in there, be confident. Don't be a know-it-all because nobody really likes a know-it-all, but don't be timid. You want to go into that room and show that, you know, I'm okay to scrub in. I'm okay, you know, to do what the, I need to do as a student, and your tech will trust you, and they'll give you a shot to get in there and do what you need to do. Also, you got to be willing to accept constructive criticism. There's going to be a lot of that. Remember, you're a student. We're here to learn. And sometimes it comes with, with the package. Okay? You got to have some thick skin in the OR. You know, sometimes some people are going to say some things to you that you may not like. Just remember that you're a student and your main objective is to learn and soak everything in as possible. We're not here to argue and we're not here to debate with anybody. Now, I want you guys to keep in mind that not every day you go into the OR as a student, you're going to have a good day. Some days you're going to have a great day. Some days you're going to feel like, you know, I'm really getting this stuff down. I'm killing it. I'm doing a good job. And then other days you're gonna feel like, damn, I don't, I don't know anything. And you're gonna feel like, hey, I want to give up. I don't think this career is for me. But what you do is you go home, you regroup, you come back the next day with a big smile on your face, and you dive right back in there. You know, you show the staff, hey, I'm tough. I'm here to learn. I want this. And you be resilient, and you go in there and you get what you're supposed to get. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. If you found the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I